what's going on out here world it is motivated motivation and i'm actually recording this video at my alma mater um, wolf Laurier university and uh, i actually got myself a study room i'm actually out here just uh just taking care of some different uh priorities and wanted to go ahead and record this video so again we got the tv in the back but uh for this particular video i actually want to go ahead and review my mac studio i've had it for over a year and i thought it would be just an opportunity to be able to talk about it just because i feel having it for this time there's some level of legitimacy to be able to speak on that experience of actually having a computer so i have some points that i want to go ahead and cover so the first thing i would say are under the realm of pros is the customer service and customer service with apple products are great just period right there i could stop the video right there is great so with my particular computer i had the opportunity to get apple care and uh just give me one second i'm just going to grab some water here feel like a student again with my knapsack and everything but I felt like I actually uh, needed some water so that's much better so right back to the point in terms of Apple care so when I purchased the computer I had the option to add Apple care to it and I believe it's 80 bucks every single year and the good thing with that is you can get three years of coverage so every year is 80 bucks of Apple care but the good thing with it is any issue I have whether it's troubleshooting how do I do this how does this function work you can call Apple care and I'm able to talk to someone as well if I need to speak to someone at the actual location I can just walk in and uh, ask questions as well too so apple really makes it that they're accessible for help which i really like and again it's no money coming out of my pocket so pre this computer i had a actual uh, a pc and it just becomes very expensive to be honest any issue you have you have to take it again to a repair shop and uh, spend a couple hundred dollars. And again, there's no one that you can call on the phone and say, hey, uh, I have this issue, how do I resolve it? There's so many variations of PCs that there's not one standard number that you can call. So back in the day, what I would actually do is just uh, use Reddit. Reddit was my source. Uh, looking up uh, different uh, answers on there or whether using YouTube as well but it's great having the actual Mac and there hasn't been a time where I've actually had to go take it for repair it's like once you get that machine you're pretty much good for the duration of actually owning it so I actually can compare it to having a, a Civic or a Toyota like they're solid they're durable and you won't have any issues all right the next part i wanted to talk about is just the value you get from the machine so again the machine it is quite expensive i believe mine was around three grand all said and done so when you compare that to what you would actually get from a pc it's a lot of money and I remember when I was actually looking to change up my setup I was really looking to move over to Mac and I was just like whoa these prices are ooh, they're, they're a lot of money they're a lot of money and I would compare and I say okay well 
I could get a PC for this cost, so why not I just get another PC? And I just felt that it was actually just replicating the same problems I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a computer that doesn't meet my needs, right? So the big reason that I got the Mac is one of my interests include videography, video editing. So it's been a dream for video editing. I can get my material, upload it, and no problem. It's seamless and it can handle anything. Whereas I found with my PC, I remember like many times, there was one time when I needed to get a video done. So I had the, the video footage on my iPhone and I was trying to put it onto the PC and I'm uploading it. Okay, cool. So it's on my PC now, but actually to go through and edit it, it would just freeze, it would stall. And to be honest, when you're doing this after work and you're probably I'm already tired from work and I'm using this computer and it's freezing up on me and it's lagging you just lose that enthusiasm to want to continue to try to actually make this video so it ends up actually hurting me in the long run so that was really a big thing I know I spent hundreds I think one time I spent 600 to get the uh, the PC upgraded with different components to handle video editing and it didn't even do it and I think just that was probably my last straw and I said okay like this makes no sense I'm just wasting money putting it into this machine and I'm not getting any results and as you know I'm a car fanatic so it's just like that idea when you have like a lemon and you're putting money into that lemon hundreds of dollars expecting it to perform the way that you will like and it doesn't and then ultimately you get to the point where you say okay well this car is not doing what I would like it to do and then ultimately it comes down to that point where I need to sell it or I need to scrap it so that's what happened with my uh, my PC I just decided to uh, to sell it and uh, I believe uh, uh, a dude bought it from me from Facebook who was into gaming and he was planning on uh, making his uh, upgrades and changes so a it got still another life so uh, so durability I think you get a, a lot of value from the machine just because I think back to one of my colleagues who also has a Mac it's a MacBook and when I saw it and of course, when you are part of the the Mac cult, uh, I could use that very loosely. And you you're talking to other people about their uh, their computer. And I remember him sharing with me that he has had his for six years, still looks modern. And he mentioned as well too that it performs his duties. So I think with the Max is you're paying a lot of money up front but you'll be able to use the machine for a long time, which I'm not sure uh, with a PC that you can do. With a PC, you're probably gonna have to, again, make upgrades and changes. And this is just my experience, this isn't the gospel. So I'm just really sharing my experience and my point, just my opinion. Um, I'm totally respectful of PC users. I've used the PC for many years. Uh, so I just, yeah, just don't want to make it seem like I'm actually bashing uh, uh, PCs. I'm just sharing just my perspective. That's really it. And the other thing that I want to add, and, and I guess looking at this piece, this could really relate to PCs as well too, is just the ability to the customization, which Mac allows you when you have the Mac Studio. So there is there was a computer I was looking at the iMac which is that uh, it's like all-in-one computer but I actually do like the fact that I got myself the MacBook just because I can add my own um, I was gonna say my own flair to it right so uh, whether the uh, the mouse that I have the keyboard that I have the uh, the monitor all those things I can really add as time goes on. Okay, well, I don't like this keyboard, I can change it up and try a different one out. So those are some things that I like and as well to the versatility of the, the Mac Studio. 
it is actually it's kind of like a like a like two bricks in a sense but it's something that can actually just hold in a in a knapsack and i think they really make it in a way for creative professional that you could just throw it in your knapsack and head to the studio or wherever you're working and just bring it out attach it to the monitor and just get to work so it is a very portable uh, computer as well too all right so those are my pros so far so i'm actually going to go ahead and talk about uh my cons which i really don't have any i really had to like really think and think about this and just try to really make it balanced so I think the first con I would say with this is you can't really make any upgrades. So when you get your computer, it really has to be built the way that you want it to be built because with a PC, you can at least change this out, add some more memory, add some more RAM. You can do all that stuff. Whereas with a Mac, you can't do that. So when I originally had purchased my computer, I had a smaller hard drive. It was uh, 500 gigs. And when I got it, I got it set up and I recognized, I said, whoa, this, especially when you're talking about making videos, this won't really last that long, especially so much of the computer programs takes up storage. So I knew, I said, this is not gonna last that long. So I really need to up this up. So with the purchase of a computer you actually have the ability to return it back within 14 days so i did that and then i got myself a one gig because i figured at least with the one gig it's enough hard drive that i shouldn't be able to run out and i also have an external hard drive that i can move over material as well so i think just keeping that in mind when you're looking at a machine to make sure it has the features and the different components that you actually need, not just now, but thinking down the road as well too. So if you're saying to yourself, okay, well, I plan on keeping this machine for say uh, three to five years, will this be able to meet my needs? And I think with my machine, like I think that's pretty reasonable for three to five years to be able to keep it. and. The great thing with Mac products is you can keep it for three to five years and I will still be able to sell it back and get a portion of that money back. So again, with my analogy of cars, it's just like a Honda or a Toyota where you could drive it for a couple years, they maintain their value and then you're able to go ahead and uh, sell it back and get a portion of your money back. You won't get like 50% or 75%, 75%, by no means am I saying that, but you'll be able to get it back because these machines, the brand is so strong and people want these items. So you'll be able to get back a portion of your uh, initial investment. So, and my other con and I, I alluded to this a little bit earlier is just the whole idea that uh, Macs are very expensive right so that's just one thing to keep in mind in searching for one is because it's very easy to look at Best Buy or Staples and just see how much PCs are going for and then you look at a Mac you go on the Apple website and you're like oh my goodness it's, it's double the price or three times the price but uh, again, you have to really think about, will this meet my needs? And uh, you're getting a quality product to really balance that. And there are some creative ways to be able to try to find a deal. So on the Apple website, they do have a section, if you scroll all the way down for certified refurbished, where you can find uh, machines as well to the uh, the big ones are eBay. So this phone that I'm actually recording on right now, my iPhone, I purchased this through eBay and uh, it actually uh, was pre-owned. So you can find some great deals on eBay. Uh, so I would really uh, recommend that. I know some people may use their, their local marketplaces like Facebook or 
Uh, in Canada, we have Kijiji. But for me, I, I wouldn't really speak too much on that. Uh, I use those those uh, those like Facebook for uh, other items like uh, you know like like a backpack or something of that nature. But when you're talking about spending a couple hundreds, couple thousands, or on a machine, I think it's good to go through something like an eBay because with eBay at least you have um, buyer protection. If there's any issues that surface, you're able to contact and speak with eBay. You're able to talk to someone that can help you to troubleshoot the problem. And uh, eBay has like the rating system. So sellers want to make sure you're happy. So I think all those reasons, even if you may pay a little bit more money using eBay versus the other means. But when you're talking about spending a quite a bit of money and you want to make sure you have a product that is going to last a long time that you're happy with that um i was going to say like uh one of the big things with these with these different platforms is you always fear if the uh, machine could be stolen or any one of those means but when you're using ebay at least yeah peace of mind that you bought your item it uh you're protected and if any issues surface you have someone that you can call so so that's really it. Uh, I can't really think of any more cons. So again, this is just a summation of my experience having my MacBook, looking at the pros and the cons in the event that you actually are in the market for a Mac. So feel free to drop it in the comments if you have any questions about the, uh, the Mac Studio by no means. I'm not no tech guru and and I don't, I'm just a, a dude that just as a hobby, I like to make videos and, and record videos and do some editing, but uh, it's not something I went to school for. So, but feel free to uh, drop any comments uh, regarding this. And uh, also, if you know of anyone that is considering getting a Mac, feel free to share it with them, especially a Mac Studio is very specific. So that's what I could really speak on. And uh, if you could uh, like this video, I definitely uh, would appreciate that. Subscribe and uh, yeah, and just uh, check out my video. I'll have another one to decide over here and uh, take it easy.